All right, what's up YouTube? I'm sitting in front of my 1972 240Z. Um, right now we're in the process of doing some body work, uh, mostly brush repair. As we've kind of discussed already, we've had some, uh, obviously the, the floor pans, uh, we're in the process of replacing those. Um, currently waiting on parts, uh, mostly suspension stuff, I'm going with uh, Apex engineered uh, suspension. Uh, for coilovers, um, went with BC Racing, as a lot of people do with these uh, with these Datsuns. So these are the BR series. Uh, these, this is the Extreme Low kit, which gives you just a little bit more a uh, bit more drop. Um, so I'm hoping that that's going to meet the needs that I need for this car specifically. But it is a uh, part number D94EBR. Uh, finally got got them in uh so i just kind of wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing we'll take a look here we have we get some pretty nice stickers here um should i throw them on the car or not that's the question the answer is no but it's still a question anyways let's take a look at how these look <clears throat> all right so yeah these are the br series uh, so they're obviously monotube shock, um, camber plates on front and rear in this kit, uh, specifically. Um, I think all kits come with them on the front, um, but specific kits, um, come with them on the rear as well. So yeah, we have our camber plates, uh, 30 levels of adjustment for rebound and compression, um, and separate adjustment for, uh, ride height. So obviously we got we got these tools here for that, but yeah, so pretty nice. Um, we have uh, we have the adjustment up top, um, three bolt um, attachment to our strut tower um, on all three on all four of them. So they all look pretty pretty similar um, between the uh, front and rear, uh, since they all do have the camber adjustment. So here we can take a look. Um, S30 Weldon D94R. So this here would be our rear, our front left, front right. Um, the fronts, I believe, are 4K and the rear 5K uh, for the spring rates. So that should be pretty good for uh, street to light track use. Some people like to go a little stiffer, uh, but I ended up choosing this uh, this option right here. Uh, we'll see what we end up doing with the 260Z if we'll end up doing the same suspension, but um, we likely it's going to depend on how this turns out. So let's see how these uh, see how these look in here. All right. So obviously we come in here. Should be. So as you can see, we obviously are able to, to access uh, our adjustment here, but we're not really able to access our uh, camber plate. So uh, a lot of people will cut out this hole a little bit larger to have a little bit more access. Um, so we may end up doing that, um, but we'll have to take a look. And the similar for the, pretty much very similar for the rear, um, we have a very, Similar situation. If I can line this up, pretty much laying on the car right now. But same thing, so we don't have a lot of uh, access to our camber adjustment, so we'll have to see what we end up doing for that. All right, yeah, so we'll definitely give, keep you guys updated on these um, assembly, dialing in uh, suspension, uh, adjustability what it takes to actually do all that stuff and any modifications that are needed to be done to the car or to the other suspension components to make these fit. Um, we'll be covering all that stuff in this build series. So as always, if you're enjoying the content or interested in this build, um, and uh, obviously we're, we have quite a bit of projects going on in the shop right now. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, like, follow, subscribe, um, comment down below uh, if there's anything that you feel like letting us know or any questions that you have. 
Um, definitely excited for this project. Um, this 240Z I think is going to be pretty awesome. And then obviously we have the 260Z that we're doing in parallel. So we'll see, we'll see how they turn out. Uh, hopefully you guys stick along for that. Uh, follow us on Instagram, no underscore traction underscore faction. What's up guys? All right, so I'm pretty excited because I uh, got a new door skin for my 240Z. Um, as you can see right here, we got the original driver's side door. If you look right here, uh, there's a whole bunch of holes that were drilled out for some previous body damage repair. Um, and yeah, it's gonna, could potentially, you know, fill all those and, you know, do some, uh, use some filler and try to form that correctly. But, um, instead I just bought a new door skin, um, and it came in and I want to see what it looks like. So we're going to take a look. All right, so this is the uh, the new door skin for the 240Z driver's side. Uh, I bought this from uh, Z Car Depot um, online. I think it was about a little under $400, um, but looks significantly better than the original. Let me bring that over here. All right, so as you can see, here's our, our replacement door skin. Um, solid metal. Uh, I got the cutout for the, the door handle. Everything looks looks to match the same. Um, this guy's got another little notch right here that this guy doesn't have. Um, I'm guessing that doesn't matter. Um, definitely looks a little larger, but let's see. Let's see how it looks on top. Yeah, fits around it for sure. Um, but this lip is meant to bend around, uh, around these edges. So I think it looks to fit pretty, pretty good, actually. Essentially this lip here bends or it folds around the, uh, the body of the door and these bend down and then those could be tack welded down or something around the whole lip. But I'm pretty happy with that. Um, looks good. It's going to save a lot of time and effort um, that we would have had to put otherwise into um, fixing all these, all these holes and whatnot. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's going to look pretty good. Um, and it's going to definitely cut some time off of this build. So yeah, I think this will be good. Um, we'll be definitely posting some, some more videos down the line of this install. Um, specifically for what we need to do to take the original skin off of this door panel um, and uh, fit this one on it and uh, have it all tacked down and whatnot. So stick around. Oh, this shot. Oh, action. Action shot. Action shot. Action shot. All right, this is uh, our suspension package, well, at least mine, for the 260V from Apex Engineered. Uh, apparently, they fit everything in the box here. Uh, packaging's a little rough. I was expecting a little better, but uh, we'll see how everything looks inside. Wind juice coming in, Joe? <coughs> Shipped out yesterday, so hold on. It's 140 pounds. 
Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought this was just paper. I think I broke it. Oh, well, the packaging looks Oh, this one's mine actually. Didn't you order something for me? Since I forgot to order A fender it. brace or two. Yeah. I think that's what this is. Dude, they're labeled. GG. I think this is the rear frame. I think that's just a smiley face on mine. This might, might just be packing material. Oh, I don't know. There's too much in here. Bro, what do you think of? Half a femur, I think. Here. Go show the camera. Open it up. Unexpected surprise. Actually, these were expected. Prothane bushings. Should have enough to complete the entire setup, front and rear. And they packed it in tight. See, this is the one that I wanted to see. It's the cross brace? Yeah. Can you just open this? <laughs> Let's just get everything out and then we can start. Yeah, I want to see it in my car. What color did you get? Uh, an old one? Yeah. Well, I asked for gloss black on that. Um, on that. See if they do it for me. Do they? Hardly cut through the saran wrap. Yeah. Now move this piece, it's huge. Yes. I don't know where I put it. Thanks. Is this? These be longer than these. Huh? The fender braces? Where are they? Maybe they never sent them. Dude. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's a thin. <laughs>
Glass gray. Um, I guess this could be considered a glass gray and based on pictures I've seen of other Apex equipment. Um, looks a little different. I, I mean, I like it better than the other glass gray, but it's more of a gunmetal gray, I'd say, which is why I ordered this part glass black uh, since that's actually in the cabin. I thought that was going to be a, a different color gray. Um, this would have looked fine inside, but uh, you know, glass black is pretty good too. So. Um, we'll compare it to Joe's order when that shows up and uh, see what his color choice comes out to be. Yep, should be on the way. Uh, I think mine shipped out Friday, um, but I'm still waiting to see. So I'll probably reach out Monday and figure that out. Is it tracking me? <laughs> <laughs>